Good morning, I'm Chiara Pendino, the mayor of the metropolitan city of Turin. And first of all, I want to thank the European Commission, DG Reggio in particular, and the ESPON program for their today presence and for investing in enhancing the territorial dimension in European policies and practices. Thanks also to all the stakeholders, stakeholders of ESPON Metro project that shared our vision and research need and have accepted to enter in partnership with us. Today we are here in order to reflect on how to enhance the impact of European cohesion policy at territorial level through the contribution of urban and metropolitan areas. The common expectation of Metro Project's partner is to obtain scientific evidence in a pan-European dimension to answer to two main policy questions. The first, what are the most efficient governance models of cohesion policy funds in metropolitan areas? And the second, what is the added value of applying cohesion policy to metropolitan policies? Now more than ever, it is evident that the metropolitan areas represent the strategical territorial level for the next future development model. More than 70% of European population currently lives in urban areas and projections reveal that the percentage is likely to reach 80% by 2050. Metropolitan areas represent the main economic engine of the EU and their level of education is higher than in the rest of countries where they are located, making them the most favorable environment for the development of innovative, innovative creative and high-value activities. Nevertheless, metropolitan regions face a number of important challenges. As they are composed of urban, suburban, and sometimes even rural and mountain areas, as it is in the case of my metropolitan area, the city of Turin, they have to face different needs and they require a multidimensional policy approach to help them to tackle their complex issues in order to achieve a balanced and cohesive development. However, many metropolitan areas still lack the policy tools, jurisdiction and funding that would allow they, them to fully embrace their role. Despite their importance for the development of Europe, they are rarely involved in the design of the agreements and operational programs of the cohesion policy, which remain mostly managed at a different level, notably national or regional one. The situation could jeopardize the policy's effectiveness on the ground, including the impact of structural funds hampering metropolitan areas and cities to play a primary role in terms of attractiveness and allocation of resources for development towards a sustainable and inclusive smart society. This is also strictly related to the coronavirus emergency. The COVID-19 pandemic is giving rise to new challenges and worsening old ones, but also highlighting the essential role of cities, metropolitan authorities and regions, which have been at the forefront of delivering local and public services and taking emergency measures as close as possible to citizens. As President von der Leyen said, Europeans know what their mayors, governors or councillors have done for them. They continue to be the most trusted institutions in our union. In this light, the need of a better coordination among the levels is more evident now than ever, and so is a further and stronger recognition of the specific competencies and role of metropolitan areas and cities in the scope of the EU cohesion policy. That being said, we hope that the new programming period 2021-2027 and the implementation of the European Green Deal and Recovery Plan take into consideration the metropolitan dimension which political, with political objectives directly connected to it. Finally, I thank you all once again, the European Commission, the ESPON Managing Authority, the Group of Metro Project Urban and Metropolitan Stakeholders. I want to thank the two European participating networks, Eurocities and Metropolis, and the group of researchers led by Turin's Polytechnic. Our expectation is that the outcomes of today's debate and the scientific evidence produced by the ESPON Metro project research will represent a real added value for the policymakers at European and member state level, contributing to a new generation of programs truly capable of intercepting and responding to the specific needs of each local community. The metropolitan and urban authorities are ready to take up the challenge. I close quoting once again President von der Leyen. It makes a big difference how politics is implemented on the ground. Local and regional politics is never abstract. It is about families, workers, communities. It not only helps to solve small everyday problems, but also to master the great challenges of our time. I wish you a fruitful and inspiring working session. I apologize if I cannot stay with you, but I will be my care to take in high consideration the outcomes of today's exchanges.